Good afternoon. Today we're going to be talking about the Orion Skyview Pro go-to mount, which is this little guy right here. This is probably my favorite observing mount because it's reasonably lightweight, but it has enough horsepower to drive a larger telescope like this one. Another thing I really like about it is I do my astrophotography uh, using an Orion Sirius mount and the Sirius mount and this mount share a whole lot of similarities. For example, they use the same hand controller. They also use the same tripod. So if anything happens, uh, I can substitute one tripod for another or one hand controller for another. It also makes it very easy if I'm out. Uh, I can control both of them. I can hook them both up to computers, uh, use the same software, the same drivers and everything, which is really nice. Now, this one is a little bit different than the Sirius. It has external cabling, um, which the Sirius does not. It's all internal. That's okay. It doesn't really bother me. I haven't had it get in my way. It does include a polar scope and can handle loads up to 20 pounds, they say. Realistically, with a refractor doing visual, you can exceed that. If you're doing astrophotography with a refractor, you want to stay around the 20 pound mark. And of course, that means the actual load up here does not include the weights down here. Now, the mount itself is extremely stable. It uses a center pin, which is tightened here through this steel plate into the center of the mount. I have seen a lot of other manufacturer mounts that aren't quite this stable for the same size. Now, they do make mounts like the Atlas, which has larger, more stable legs, but for its size and for the price, about $850 today, uh, it's actually a really good mount. Now, they also make this mount in a fully manual setup, uh, which has none of the motors or the controller. It's a lot cheaper that way. For a manual mount, I, I'm just too old for that these days. Um, but I do have a couple of very small manual mounts that I use for, for quick, you know, grab and go scopes at home. When I'm doing something large like this, I want a mount that can actually track it so that I can go take my notes or whatever, come back, maybe do some astrophotography. And with this weight class, I can actually attach a scope like this and then put a camera on top of the scope and use it for tracking as well. It works very well. Now, it's not quite as refined as the Sirius. For example, it doesn't have a cover over this. It does have a cover here. What you lack in little things like that, you save almost half price. The Sirius can carry about 10 pounds more weight and is a little slicker looking and of course has the internal cabling, um, but at the same time, it's twice as much. So, when you go to assemble this out in the field, it assembles pretty much like all of Orion's mounts and most of Celestron's. This is a piece, this is a piece, that's a single piece. These extend out, although I tend to use them this low whenever I can. And then, of course, you've got the cables, the hand controller, the control box here, and your weight. Now, one thing I like about this, this particular mount, it's a little nice to be able to remove this. What I mean by that is, let me make sure everything's locked down. Believe it or not, taking this one piece loose makes this a whole lot easier to transport. Of course, that could have something to do with the fact that my wife and I both drive Mini Coopers. So, the smaller I can get things, the better I like it. It also just takes a minute. Screw in. Attach that. and you're done. So, if you need a smaller, inexpensive as far as these kind of mounts go, uh, mount, this is an excellent one to look at. If I had my choice between this and the same class from the Celestron, I like this one a whole lot better. It's quieter, it's smoother, in my opinion it's easier to operate, but they're both good mounts. So, if you decide you like this mount, please use the links down below to order it. That helps pay for my website a little bit. And if you have any comments or anything, please leave them and let me know. Thanks. Have a great one. Thank you.